Hey everyone, and welcome to today's meditative flow. So this is gonna be a vinyasa based practice, connecting mind, body, breath with movement. However, we're gonna spend a little bit longer in some of the postures today, and we're gonna create these beautiful moving meditations, these flows. This is my favorite kind of practice, personally. This is the kind of practice that I do a lot in my own time to release those uh, tension and pain and blockages in the body, areas of stagnation, kind of reaching into the darkest areas of our bodies, our minds and our hearts, and allowing us to release some of the blockages there so that we can uncover our inner light. So that's what today's practice is gonna be all about. So for today's practice, I really recommend that maybe you've practiced some yoga before that you're familiar at least with some of the postures because I'm not going to describe the posture so much. I'm not going to give as many modifications today. It's going to be more about the flow. But of course, if you know some modifications yourself, then in that way you can start to create your own moving flow, moving meditation. Um, you may need some blocks for today's practice, but it's just more whether you use blocks in your own practice and you're welcome to use them. So thank you so much for joining me for another practice today. We're actually gonna to start today's practice laying down on our bellies, on our mat. So if you get yourself ready, and I'll meet you on the mat in a moment. We'll begin today's practice. Resting down onto our bellies. So make your way down onto the mat now. Rest down onto your belly. Relax the top of the feet down onto the floor. <clears throat> And just rest one hand on top of the other, rest your forehead down onto the hands comfortably. Take some time now just to observe your breathing, observe the movement of the breath within your body. Feel the sensation of the breath as it enters through the nose and fills the lungs with fresh energy. And observe as this Warm breath leaves back out through the nose. Breathing in and out through the nose deeply, smoothly. This is a wonderful place and a wonderful posture to practice our diaphragmatic breathing. So, in this position, as the chest is slightly lifted, we begin to feel the breath more towards the belly and the rib cage. We even feel perhaps the lower back pushing up a little as we fill the belly with fresh air. And as we exhale, we empty all the breath from our bodies. As we breathe in, we draw the breath down into the belly, into the rib cage. And as we exhale, we empty the breath from our bodies. Just feel this gentle movement of breath in your body. The rib cage and belly expand as you breathe in and slowly release softly as you breathe out. And as you do this, just observe how your breath finds its own natural pace and rhythm. Let the breath become more subtle, more smooth. One breath flowing into the next effortlessly. And as we are observing our breathing, the mind will naturally become more quiet as the breath becomes our focus, our point of awareness. Now as you've found this comfortable rhythm of your breathing, see if you can lengthen out your exhales just a little more. Only to a point that feels comfortable for you. In this way we switch on the parasympathetic nervous system allowing us to become more relaxed, more calm, more at peace. This is 
is a wonderful breath to practice if you ever feel anxious or have trouble sleeping. And let's allow this wonderful diaphragmatic breathing to be our guide through our practice today. If you prefer to practice with ujjayi breathing, creating that slight constriction in the back of the throat in order to make this ocean sound or hissing sound with your breath, you're welcome to connect your ujjayi breathing throughout your practice today. Here, let's lift the forehead off the hands. Bring the hands just out to the sides of the mat. <clears throat> Press the feet down into the floor. Squeeze your inner thighs. Draw the navel in and up towards the spine. Then very gently lift up as you breathe in, opening the heart and chest, shoulders back. And then exhale as you release down onto the mat. Press the feet down, squeeze your inner thighs, draw the navel in. Inhale, lift, open the heart only as high as feels good for your lower back. And then exhale to slowly soften down. Good, one more like that. Inhale, lift, coming onto the fingertips, opening the heart and chest, shoulders back. And then exhale, release all the way down onto your belly. Bring the hands by the rib cage, tuck the toes under. Inhale, press up hands and knees. Exhale back into your child's pose. Knees about hip width apart, drop the forehead down to the floor. Sit back onto your heels. Now we're gonna do a little rolling movement in the spine to warm up the spine, increase range of movement. Inhale, rolling the spine upwards, almost like creating a little rounding in the back, pulling the belly in. And then as you exhale, arch your spine and bring your bum back towards the heels. <clears throat> you can tuck the toes under if you prefer here. Inhale, roll the spine forwards like a moving cat cow. And then exhale, arching and coming back. Inhale, roll the spine all the way forwards. Exhale, Inhale, rolling the spine all the way up, chin to chest, belly in. And then exhale, arching to come back. Good, inhale, rolling forwards. So the breath is slightly different than if we were doing actual cat-cow here. Exhale, arching back. Inhale, rolling all the way up. And then exhale to arch and come Inhale, rolling all the way up. And then exhale, come all the way back onto your heels. This time a little different. Crawl the fingertips all the way out in front of you as far forwards as they go. This time we're gonna inhale to slowly come forwards and then see if you can drop the hips down and it'll open the heart and chest. Gaze upwards but keeping length in the neck and then exhaling as you come back into your child's pose. Inhale, to slowly come forwards, and as you do, only drip, drop the hips as far down as feels good for your back. Exhale as you come back and sit back into your child's pose. Inhale, to slowly come forward. So we're just allowing the breath to be our guide here, only going as far as feels good for our body. Exhaling to take yourself back. Inhale, slowly coming forwards, lifting, opening the heart and chest, maybe sinking the hips a little lower now if it feels good. And then exhaling to come all the way back. Inhale to slowly drop the hips forward, open the heart and chest, and exhaling all the way back, sitting back onto the heels. Inhale, 
inhale. Slowly coming up, lifting open the heart and chest, gazing up, maybe coming a little deeper into it now. Exhaling to come back. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. Inhale forwards. Inhale forwards, and this time as you come forwards, drop the hips down, open the heart, and maybe just look over one shoulder, then the other. Just a little twist side to side. Keep breathing. Good. And then we exhale all the way back, sitting back onto the heels in your child's pose. Breathe. Already observe the changes in your body. A little slow vinyasa. Inhale to lift the head and look forwards. A little more gentle option. Exhale. Come all the way down onto your belly. Elbows hug the ribs. Release down onto the mat. Bring the hands out to the sides. Press the top of the feet down. Roll the shoulders back. Belly in. Inhale, lift, open the heart and chest, only as high as feels good for your body. Exhale to come down. Inhale, peel the chest off the floor and lift, open the heart and chest. Exhale to slowly surrender down. Inhale to lift, open the heart and chest. And exhale all the way down, well done. Inhale, press up to hands and knees. Exhale back into child's pose. Inhale, lift the head, look forwards. Exhale straight onto your belly as I showed you before or exhale, chin chest to the floor, elbows hug the ribs. Inhale, rise into little cobra. And then exhale back into child's pose. Inhale, lift the head, look forwards. Exhale, onto the belly or chin chest to the floor, elbows hug the ribs. Inhale, rise to little cobra, press the feet down, shoulders back, belly in. And then exhale back into your child's pose. Inhale, lift the head, look forwards. Exhale, chin chest to the floor, elbows hug the ribs. Inhale, rise, little cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, back into child's pose. Inhale, lift the head, look forwards. Exhale, chin chest to the floor or onto your belly. Inhale, rise. Little mini cobra. Open the heart and chest, press the feet down, and then exhale back into your child's pose. Inhale, lift the head, look forwards. Exhale, chin chest to the floor or come onto your belly. Inhale, rise, Bhujangasana. Exhale, back into child's pose. One more. Inhale, lift the head, look forwards. Exhale, chin chest to the floor. Inhale, rise, little cobra. Exhale, back, child's pose. Well done. Take a big deep breath in. And exhale. Now this time, inhale. To slowly come up onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes under. Knees about hip width apart. Then sit back onto your heels.
heels. So we're just gonna do a little toe stretch. <clears throat> you can keep it a little more relaxed, take the knees a little further out in front of you, or if you wanna deepen the stretch, you bring the knees in towards the toes. Just take a few deep breaths here. Remember, if this feels too intense for you, you can just flatten the feet down and just rest there. And over time, you can begin to increase the amount of breaths that you'll hear. Good. Keep the toes tucked under, keep breathing. Enjoy this moment of stillness before we continue with our flowing movements. flatten the feet down. From here, let's bring our right hand down to the floor next to us on the right side. Inhale, left arm all the way up, and then exhale, left arm all the way over towards the right side. Good, inhale, bring the arms up together, and then exhale to the other side, left hand down, right arm all the way over. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right hand down, left arm all the way over, stretch it out. Inhale, up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, up. Exhale, right arm down, stretch over. Inhale, up. Exhale, left arm down. And then exhale, palms to heart. Now from here, we're gonna inhale to reach the arms up. Open up the heart and chest. And then exhale, roll the shoulders through, pull the belly in, round the spine. Inhale, lift and open the heart and chest. Feel this wonderful opening all through the front body. Shoulders back. Exhale, roll the shoulders through. Inhale, lift open the heart and chest. Exhale through. Two more, inhale, lift open the heart and chest. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, lift open the heart and chest. And exhale, rounding. Now inhale, come all the way up, tuck the toes under, coming onto the knees. And then exhale, slowly bring the hands down and then stretch your arms out in front of you, stretch the hands out in front of you and lower your chest and chin down to the floor in your puppy pose, Anahatasana. Take a few deep breaths here, just allowing the heart to melt down towards the floor with every exhale, just feeling the chest and the heart becoming heavier and sinking down to the mouth. Breathe here. Take one more deep breath in and out. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, come all the way down onto your belly. Take the hands out to the sides. Roll the shoulder blades back, elbows hug the ribs, press the feet down, come onto the fingertips. Inhale, lift open the heart and chest, draw the shoulders back, stretch out through the front of the throat as well. Exhale, all the way down. Forehead down. Inhale, lift open the heart and chest. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, lift the heart and chest, shoulders back. Exhale, down. Bring the hands by the rib cage. Inhale, press up to hands and knees. Exhale, sit back onto your child's pose. Sit back onto your heels. Inhale, lift up, sit back onto your heels. Open up the heart and chest, keep breathing in. 
and then exhale roll the shoulders through round your spine inhale bend the elbows lift open the heart and chest shoulders back look up towards the ceiling and then exhale roll the shoulders through pull the belly in good one more inhale lift open the heart and chest shoulders back and then exhale roll the shoulders through this time inhale lift up open the heart and chest and drop the hands down behind you fingers pointing forwards towards the top of the mat now you can just stay here if this feels like enough for you or we're going to lift our hips all the way up towards the ceiling as we breathe in and then exhale to bring them down so knees hip width apart squeeze the big toes together squeeze your inner thighs pelvic floor then navel draws in inhale lift and open the front body opening your heart and chest gazing up keep the length in the neck and the spine exhale to release it down good draw the navel in pelvic floor inhale lift up open the heart and chest gaze upwards exhale to soften it down good one more inhale lift and open the heart and chest maybe coming up a little higher if it feels good exhale all the way down tuck the toes under inhale lift and lengthen up coming up onto the knees and then exhale slowly bring the hands down slide them out in front of you and surrender down into your puppy pose breathe here you can bring the chin or the forehead down whichever one feels more comfortable for your neck Tune into your deep breathing. Well done. And then inhale, lift up. Exhale, slowly release your belly all the way down. Well done. Now bring the hands out to the side, but bring them a little closer in towards you, so not as wide. It's gonna feel a little more intense maybe. If it feels too intense for you, just take the arms a little wider as before. Press the feet down, draw the navel in, engage through pelvic floor, shoulders back, inhale. Lift up as we did before. Elbows hug the ribs, gazing up, and then exhaling releasing down inhale to lift up make sure the core is engaged pelvic floor drawing in and up and then exhale as you soften and release down inhale to lift up open the heart and chest exhale to release down flatten the hands down inhale press up hands and knees exhale back to child's pose inhale lift up open the heart and chest bend the elbows feel this wonderful opening through front body exhale to roll the shoulders through pull the belly in inhale to lift open the heart and chest shoulders back exhale to roll the shoulders through inhale to lift open the heart and chest exhale to roll the shoulders through and then inhale lift up bring the arms all the way back and bring the hands down onto the floor fingers pointing forwards exhale inhale lift up and open the front of the body good and then exhale release down inhale lift and open the front body come on Kaya exhale release down good and inhale lift and open the front of the body and exhale release down inhale come onto the toes rise all the way up last time through like this belly in exhale bring the hands down and then slowly come down into your puppy pose surrendering the heart down towards the floor breathing long slow relaxed breaths in and out through the nose
So we're cultivating these moments of quiet and stillness in the middle of our practice. Just to tune into our breath and start to observe the sensations in the body. Opportunities for quiet and peace. Inhale, lift up, and then exhale. Release all the way down onto your belly. Come here, Baba. Hi, darling. Hi. Rest down onto the mat. Again, taking the arms a little wider out towards the sides or bringing them a little closer in towards you. Inhale, lift and open the heart and chest, shoulders back, press the feet down. Exhale, release down. Press the feet down, squeeze inner thighs, draw the navel in and up. Inhale, rising, lifting open the heart and chest. And exhale down. Good, one more, inhale. Lift and open the heart and chest. And exhale, release down. Inhale, press up to hands and knees. Exhale, this time sit all the way back into your child's pose. Well done. Connect back with your breathing. Inhale to roll up onto your hands and knees. Exhale to tuck the toes under. Take a big deep breath in. And then exhale, pull the belly in and up towards the spine, press back into your first child, your, sorry, your downward facing dog. Now spread the fingertips into the floor and just take a little time to settle into this first down dog, feeling the changes that you've created in the body already. Inhaling to bring the right heel down and bending deeply into your left knee. And then as you exhale, switch it over. Bring the left heel down, bend deeply into your right knee. Inhale, right heel down, bend the left knee. And then exhale, bring the left heel down, bend the right knee. Well done. Now from here, inhale. Rolling forward into a plank, and as you do, dropping the hips down, lift and opening the heart and chest, a little more of a deeper option of what we were just practicing. And then exhale to come back into your downward facing dog. You may need to take the arms a little closer towards the top of the mat, so a little more distance between the arms and the legs. Inhale to flow forwards, dropping the belly and hips down, opening the heart and chest. As you do, keep pelvic floor engaged, navel drawing in and up, legs are strong, shoulders back. And then exhale to press back into your down dog. Good, one more like that. Inhale, rolling forwards, keep the legs strong, heels reaching back, heart lifting and opening. And then exhale back into your downward facing dog. Well done. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky, bend the right knee and open the hips. You're stacking that right hip on top of the left hip. Keep the shoulders level so you're not dipping through the left side. You can just stay here, or if you want to move through with me into Wild Thing, you're welcome to. Otherwise, just staying in your three-legged dog if we're not quite there yet. Drop that right leg back, take your time, and then lift and open the heart and chest. Good, keep opening the front of the body. Drop the head back, keep the navel in. Good, and then drop your right hand down to the floor. Inhale that right leg back up. Keep your left heel drawing to the floor. And then as you exhale, you're gonna step that right leg all the way through towards the top of the mat and lower the left knee down towards the floor. Good, now keep squeezing your inner thighs. Engage through pelvic floor, Mula Bandha. Pull the belly button in and up towards the spine. You can stay here if you prefer for today, or you're gonna slowly rise up. And as you do, you're gonna lift the belly away from the thigh. Keep the core engaged. Pelvic floor drawing in and up, and then lengthening through the spine. From here, we're gonna lift our arms all the way up. Good, take a big deep breath in here. 
And then as you exhale, bring the right hand down, either onto your right hip or grabbing your left leg, the outer edge of the left leg, and reaching that left arm all the way over, side body bend. Keep the core engaged, navel drawing in and up. And then inhale, arm up. Exhale, other side, left hand to the left hip, or left hand grabs the left leg, right arm comes all the way over. If you feel any pain here, you can bring the hand down to the floor or just stay with hands down at the top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right hand down, floor, hip, or grabbing the back leg. Good, and then inhale up. And then exhale, other side. Good, inhale all the way up. And then exhale, bring the hands down, hands down, top of the mat. From here, we're gonna straighten out through our front leg. If you cannot straighten the leg, please don't worry. If there's a little bend in the knee, that's fine. You can also place some blocks under your hands so it gives you a little more length if it's feeling too intense for you today. From here, we're gonna inhale to lift and lengthen the spine, draw the right hip back, and then exhale to fold over that right leg. Back knee below the hip, breathing here. Tune into your deep breathing. Allow it to guide you through the more challenging parts of today's practice. So when the practice gets a little more intense, especially, for example, in this posture, Ardha Hanumasana or half splits, can get a little intense for some of us. So keep breathing deeply, keep your awareness on your breath. Good, and then slowly come back into that lunge position. If you prefer for today, just stay with the hands down onto the mat or come with me, squeeze your inner thighs, pelvic floor, navel draws in and up. Reach your arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, take the arms back and interlock the hands behind you. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift and open the heart and chest. Exhale, sink into the hips, breathe. Keep pulling the belly in and up, away from the thigh. Keep the length in the spine rather than pushing the belly forwards. Keep lengthening the crown of the head all the way up towards the ceiling. Breathe deeply. Well done, and then inhale, arms up. Good, and then exhale, slowly bring the hands down. From here, bring both hands on the inner edge of your right foot. Open your right foot out to the side. So just going a little wider with our stance. You can bring some support under the back knee if it feels too intense for you. Then open your right foot out to the side just a little. From here, we're gonna inhale to lift, lengthen the spine so we're not collapsing down. And breathe, feel this wonderful opening through inner thighs, through the hips. I know again, this might be a little intense for some of you. So keep breathing deeply. Keep drawing the navel in and up towards the spine. Good, take one more deep breath in and out. Well done. Now bring the left hand, just the left hand down on the floor this time. If it's starting to feel too intense for the wrist, you're welcome to bring your forearm onto a block if that feels a bit better for you. Now right hand comes back, we open the heart, and then see if you can grab your left foot with the right hand and then squeeze your left heel in towards you. Roll the right shoulder back so you're looking towards that back foot and breathe deeply here. So here we're feeling this wonderful release through the quadriceps on the left side and through the psoas. Keep breathing there. Notice if you can release into it a little bit more, letting go of any tension you're holding onto, but keep the engagement through the pelvic floor and through the core. So keep pulling the navel in and up towards the spine and breathing. Well done, ready, sit up. Well done, I know that was a little intense. Now from there, bring your right foot back to the middle. Lift through your back knee. Send that right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Feel this wonderful release. 
Now either stay here or if you like, you can come back into your wild thing. Drop that right leg behind you. Lift and open the heart and chest. Good, breathe here. And then bring your right hand down, inhale the right leg up, and then exhale down into your downward facing dog. And do a few more of those rolls. Inhale to roll forwards, drop the hips down, keep the legs strong, navel drawing in and up, shoulders back, look up. And then exhale back into your down dog, Adha Mukha Shavanasana. Inhale forwards, rolling forwards, Keep opening the heart and chest, shoulders back. And then exhale back into your down dog. Good, one more. Inhale, rolling forwards. And then exhale back. Good. Inhale, left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the knee, open the hips. You're stacking the hips on top of each other. Keep drawing your right heel to the floor and keep your shoulders level so you're not dipping through the right side. Keep drawing the navel in and up. Stay here or come back into your wild thing. Drop that left leg behind you. From there, inhale, lift and open the heart and chest. Shoulders back, breathe. Good, and then on your next exhale, drop that left hand down. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step the left leg through, and then lower the right knee down to the floor. So if you prefer for today's practice, keep the hands down on the floor and just stay in this position. Otherwise, we're gonna engage through the legs, so squeeze your inner thighs, engage quadricep, then pelvic floor pulls in and up. Then we pull navel in and up towards the spine, finding that length in the spine, body feeling strong so it can support us through our practice. From there, you can keep the hand resting down onto the hip, if that's, sorry, onto the thigh, if that's enough for you today, or we're gonna reach the arms all the way up. Good, now side body bends. Take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, left hand comes down to the left hip, to the floor, or grabbing the outer edge of the right leg, reach the right arm over. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, other side. Inhale up, don't lose that engagement through the core. Exhale all the way over. Inhale up. Exhale, other side, well done. Good, and then inhale up. And then exhale, palms to the heart, release the hands down. Straighten out through that front leg for Ardha Hanumasana, half splits bringing your back knee below the hip. You can bring some blocks under the hands here if you need a little more height, a little more support. Otherwise, we're gonna inhale, lift, open the heart and chest, pull the left hip back so the hips are level and we're not rolling that left hip forwards. Exhale, fold over the leg, flex the foot, breathe here. With every exhale, sinking a little deeper into it. into your lunge position. <clears throat> you can stay on the hands or rise up, squeeze your inner thighs, draw the navel in and up, lift the belly away from the thigh. Inhale to reach the arms up, lengthening the spine up, bringing the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. And then as we exhale, take the arms back, interlock the hands behind you. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift open the heart and chest. Exhale, sink into the hips without sticking the belly out. Keep pulling the belly in and up, shoulders back, lengthen the spine. Breathe. And here you can almost draw your hands down the back of your right leg, getting this wonderful opening through the heart, through the chest, through the shoulders. Keep the length in the spine. Keep the neck nice and long. Breathe. I know it's intense. Keep breathing. Well done. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, palms to the heart, bring the hands down, both hands on the inner edge of your left foot. Bring your left foot to the outer edge of the mat. Remember, you can bring some support under the back knee, a blanket, anything that you need 
to make yourself a little bit more comfortable. Now keep the length in the spine. Keep the shoulders drawing back. Keep the navel drawing in and up and breathe here, gazing at a spot in front of you. It was wonderful release. If you have tight hips, this is gonna feel really, really good for you. It might feel a little intense at times. Remember, any pain, always come and rest. As long as there's no pain, it's just a deep stretch. And as long as we don't feel any intense discomfort, just breathe through. Well done. Now right hand down on the floor or bring a block under your right elbow, whichever one feels better for you. Then from there, left hand comes back and grabs the right foot. Then we draw that right heel in towards us. Roll your left shoulder back, look towards that, left, that right foot, and then breathe deeply here. One more deep breath in and out. Well done, really sit down. Good, bring your left foot back to the middle of the mat. Lift through your back knee. Send that left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Good, stay there, bend the knee, or if you like, you can drop it back into that wild thing. Just take your time and then lift and open the heart and chest, breathe. Slowly bring that hand down, lift that left leg all the way back up, and then exhale down into your downward facing dog. Inhale to lower the knees to the floor, exhale back child's pose, rest. lift ourselves up, release both legs out in front of us, and then come down onto our backs. So slowly make your way down onto the mat. Bring the feet about hip width apart. Tuck the shoulders under and flatten the lower back down into the floor. Bring the arms alongside the body fingers pointing in the direction of the heels. Now press and root your feet down into the floor, the outer edges, inner edges of the feet, the front and back of the feet. Squeeze your inner thigh muscles, draw the navel in and up towards the spine and engage through the pelvic floor. Then as you inhale, you're gonna rise and lift your hips all the way up towards the ceiling. Keep rooting the inner edges of the feet down. Exhale to slowly release upper back, middle back, and then lower back. So even making this into a little moving meditation, inhale, lower back lifts, middle back lifts, all the way into upper back, shoulders, and then exhale, upper back, middle back, lower back down onto the floor. Root the feet down, pelvic floor engage, navel in, lift the lower back, middle back, upper back, lifting up, keep rooting the inner edges of the feet down, exhale as you release, upper back, middle back, and lower back, keep squeezing your inner thigh muscles, good, inhale, root the feet down, inner edges, outer edges, lift up, and then exhale, so we're just doing this really lovely, subtle little movement. up and then exhale to slowly release down inhale to rise exhale to release down Inhale to rise, and as you do, just check that you're not lifting one hip higher than the other. Keep the hips level. And the exhale sends you down. Well done. From there, you can hug your knees in towards the chest. 
rock your back into the floor and massage your spine. hand onto the outer edge of the right knee, bring the right arm out to the side, take a big deep breath in and as you exhale drop your knees towards the left side and gaze towards your right fingertips. So we're just getting this wonderful opening through the right side of the body in this lower back twist. Tuck the shoulders under so that we're not lifting through the right shoulder. Gazing towards the right hand and breathing deeply. Relax your face, relax your shoulders, relax and soften your jaw. slowly switch over to the other side, right hand onto the outer edge of the left knee and then gently drop the knees over to the right side. Then tuck your left shoulder under, so tuck the shoulders under so the left shoulder is not lifting up and gaze towards your left hand and then from there you can gently close your eyes and just connect back to your deep breathing in and out through the nose. Slowly bring the knees back to the middle. And let's prepare for our happy baby. So we're gonna bring the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. You can grab the outer edges of the feet. If you can't reach, you can grab the ankles or just wrap the arms around the back of the legs and just rock side to side, massaging all the way down into your lower back, into the floor. So flattening the lower back down and rocking side to side, releasing any tension in your lower back little gentle rocks. And from there we can release our legs down <clears throat> for our Shavasana. If you prefer you can place a bolster under the knees, some cushions under the knees, which will just allow your lower back to feel a little more comfortable and if not straighten your legs out in front of you let your feet drop out towards the sides just for a short shavasana today relax your body completely tuck the shoulders under so the shoulders feel nice and relaxed onto the mat release any tension from your neck and jaw relax every muscle in your body and just let your breathing come back to a completely effortless soft relaxed rhythm that is completely comfortable for you. Take this time to honor your body for allowing you to practice yoga today. We spend so much of our time being negative about our bodies, wishing we were taller, shorter, thinner. So take time now just to honor your body your vessel that your soul resides in for this lifetime and give it time to rest and absorb all the changes that you've created through your practice today. Give your mind some time for peace and quiet. As allow your body, your mind and your soul to absorb this feeling of deep peace. If you would like, you can 
stay a little longer in Shavasana today and just pause the video. as long as you need to. If you are ready, we're slowly going to wiggle our toes and our fingers. we can gently draw our knees to our chest, hooking our back into the floor, and then slowly rolling onto our side. Taking a few deep, calming and cleansing breaths here. And slowly make your way up to a seated position. Lengthening your spine up. Taking a big deep breath in through the nose. Exhaling out of the mouth. Breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. the palms together in front of your heart, your spiritual heart center. Drop the head down towards the hands. We're going to close our practice today with three chants of Om and Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace in our hearts, peace in our minds, and peace in the world around us. Big deep breath in. to ourselves, silently or out loud. May I be healthy. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. And bow down to yourself, to your practice. Namaste.